is the foundation. Okay, so the foundation is like if you're going to build a house, you're going to build on a foundation. You can't just get in and start building. Okay, so you're not going to be successful. Well, in the golf swing, if you don't have the foundation, which is your grip, your aim, and your setup, it's really hard to get to a good impact position. And that's the moment of truth decides whether the ball is going to find your target or not. Okay, so when it comes to the grip, what I want you guys to do is grab. Yeah, just go ahead and grab your club and always start out with the toe of the club up to the sky. So I suggest you hold the club out with your, you're both right handed, or actually left. you're left handed, yeah. okay? So you're gonna do the opposite of what I tell you, okay? So you're gonna start with your, your other hand. And so what I do is I hold the club out, and then I take my left hand, your right hand, and you're gonna make a V between your thumb and index finger. What I suggest you do is point that V at your right shoulder. This is what I call a neutral grip. You're gonna be able to see about one and a half knuckles. Another way to tell if you're gripping it correctly is you have the pad on your hand. Try to make that pad go just over the grip. And so the handle, the club, the grip should be in between your palms and your fingers. It shouldn't be just in your palms. It shouldn't be just in your fingers. If you do that correctly, you'll feel it. You should have a lot of control if you grip it correctly. What that will help you do is get the club face square to your target so you'll be able to release it and control that club face. The main difference between golf and other activities like baseball and sports is we have a club face. Okay, So we need to get that club face aiming toward our target. The next thing in gripping the club, take your right hand and you can create a V between your thumb, thumb and index finger. And again, you're going to point that a little bit more toward your right shoulder as well. Okay, They should fit as one unit. You don't want to have any separation. So start out with the hand above and then you're going to come underneath with the other hand. And you can either do an overlap grip, an interlock grip, or you can do an eight finger grip. Okay, whatever feels com comfortable to you, it may be a little different than what you're used to, but again, if you hold it with the thumb directly down the handle, that's gonna be too much in the palms. And if you hold the handle where you can see like three knuckles, well then you have it too much in the fingers. So what I like to teach right away is... is only see one knuckle. Yeah, you wanna see about one and a half knuckles. So it's going to feel a little bit, it would feel like a stronger grip to you if you're taking the hand over. All right, so that will help you uh, to square up the club face because most of the, the clients that I have when they come to me right away is they have an open club face. What that does, that produces a left to right ball flight, a slice. In your case, it would be a right to left. Um, and so the reason why is a lot of that is because they're holding the club too much in their palms. They're having a hard time getting the club turn turn over and square to their club, to, to their target. Okay, so the next thing is grip pressure. When it comes to grip pressure, I like to grip it not uh, <clears throat> too firm, but also not too weak. So what we want to do is we want to be in between. So on a scale from one to ten, one would be letting go of the club. Just hold it really lightly. We'll go ahead. So I should be almost to pull this club. There you go. Okay, ten is maximum grip pressure. So one, do one. Hold it a little bit. Hold it light, light, light. Yeah, that's a one. Okay, now go ten, maximum grip pressure, like as hard as you can. Yep. That's a 10. You want to go halfway, so go go a 5 in between those two. Okay, so you don't want to go more than a 6, but I wouldn't go less than a 5 either. Okay, it just needs to be right in between there. So you have control. Okay, so it's all about control.